I'm delighted to present to you all the IITM 2019 President's Gold Medal winner, Kavitha Gopal. Kavitha is the first woman to be honored with the President's Gold Medal in 60 years of IIT Madras history. She's also a world finalist at the ACM ICPC, which is considered the Olympics of programming competitions. Kavitha holds a bachelor's degree in computer science and is passionate about solving real world problems. Kavitha is presently a software engineer at Google. We believe that a conversation between the two of them would be deeply inspiring to both young students as well as seasoned STEM veterans. We cannot wait to hear your conversation. Over to you, Kavya and Kavita. Thank you, Priya, for the very kind introduction. And I'm really honored to be here and uh, like thrilled to be a part of this. So first of all, uh, Kavya, congratulations from all of us on your JE rank achievement. We are all very proud of you. Thank you so much. I would like to congratulate you for your amazing achievement and performance as well. Uh, Kavita has won the President's Gold Medal in 2019. So for those who don't know, this means that she secured the highest grade in her batch among boys and girls. Thank you, Kavya. Uh, for our younger listeners, uh, tell us a little bit about when and how you first got interested in science and mathematics in school. So with standard were you in, any camps and competitions that you participated in? So uh, in fifth grade, our school had these mathematics, extra classes for mathematics that basically exposed students who were doing well academically to non-routine mathematical problem solving. So uh, those were something that particularly, you know, started my interest in mathematics because uh, there was something that were like very engaging, I believe. And the thing is that initially I used to struggle a lot with the problems that were given, but my mother's a maths teacher. So she used to help me out a lot, uh, you know, with the solving those problems. So uh, that was something that really helped, you know, kickstart my uh, interest in STEM in a way. And then it shifted a bit to computer science when in ninth grade, I discovered this video on machine learning where a team is using machine learning to, you know, help people who have chronic illnesses. So I just realized, you know, how transformative machine learning and technology really could be, right? You could change the world. You could make an entire group of people's lives better. So that was something that really pushed me towards CS. And I believe that, you know, uh, develop, uh, uh, participating in science and maths would be like a very good precursor because I believe STEM and CS are very uh, deeply, science, maths and CS are very deeply connected because there's a certain logical thinking process, right? So in 11th and 12th grade, I participated in a lot of Olympiads. I went for maths Olympiad, I went for chemistry, physics Olympiad, and I went for some of their camps as well. So uh, these were stuff that, you know, I found particularly interesting. And these were the things that pushed me towards a career in STEM. Uh, what about you? What ignited your interest in STEM? Uh, sure. Uh, so I was fortunate to be introduced to STEM at a very young age. And at school, my favorite subject was mathematics. So I used to participate in several math and science Olympiads during my school days, including Olympiads like Indian National Mathematics Olympiad. And as a student, I was always fascinated by reading about any science advances, right? So be it the discovery of DNA structure or the space missions carried out by ISRO. And then in my 11th standard, I began learning the foundations of computer science. And I would say there has been no looking back since then for me. And in college, I participated in many competitive programming contests. And I think for me, it was a very challenging and a very exciting experience when I actually represented India in the ACM ICPC World Finals. Also, what's most exciting for me is the interdisciplinary aspect involved. For instance, how artificial intelligence can be used in biotechnology and also as uh, we heard about socially responsible AI and uh, how we can harness the phenomena of quantum mechanics for computing, right? So yeah, for me, my interest in STEM fields began right from my school days. So tell me more about your school days. Who encouraged you to pursue science and mathematics in school? 
parents, teachers, a public figure? So my parents have been a key source of inspiration for me. As I mentioned, in fifth grade, we had these classes for non-routine mathematical problem solving. So since there was something that was significantly harder than the normal syllabus we did at school, there was like a huge learning curve, right? So initially I used to just go to the lectures and I used to struggle with the problem sets and even struggle to understand what was going on in the lectures. But uh, my mom was a math teacher, so I always turned to her for help. And she very patiently, kudos to her patience, I still appreciate that to this day. She was very patient with me. She helped me through everything, every single problem, every single concept. She was always there by my side to support me. So eventually I was able to do things on my own, but I credit my mother as the central figure that, you know, gave me that push that you can do it. You can, you, you can do something which you've always wanted to do, even if you were struggling with it initially. And my father's in CS2, so he has also always been like a great source of inspiration. He's told me stories about his career, about how he started CS. So both of them have been the key figure in pushing me towards a career and an education in STEM. That's awesome to hear. Uh, I also wanted to know, uh, for someone like me, you know, who's just entering college studies, what advice would you like to give me? Um, sure. So I think for me, college was a very exciting and a very memorable journey. So in college, I realized that there are just so many different paths that you can explore. So for instance, in my first year, I remember experimenting in a lot of different areas like robotics, machine learning, and so on. And also there was a lot of flexibility in figuring out my interests and the topics that I should deep dive into. So at times this might be a little rigorous. However, the experiences and the learnings that you get will be instrumental in shaping your interests even further. Needless to say, college is also a place where you meet really wonderful people. And a piece of advice for you would be that you should learn and explore as much as you can. And there will be a plethora of opportunities around you. So don't stress out if something does not go your way. Just focus on doing what you love doing and have a lot of fun learning and experimenting. So now that you have finished a few months of your first year, what has been your most exciting discoveries in IIT for you? So uh, recently in IIT, I got into college aid debating. So college aid debating has been really fun. The entire process of, you know, preparing a case and presenting your arguments in a logical and compelling manner, that is something that has really resonated with me. And currently, like, as you mentioned, I'm exploring various fields of tech as well. I'm exploring more about web development, machine learning, cryptography. So these are fields that in particular are really, uh, I'm really fascinated by. So, so far, the college hi or the highlight of college for me has been the freedom, the debating, and the tech. So, uh, one more thing I wanted to know, uh, in IITM, surely, since the boys are in majority, you were one of the few people that were there in your batch, right? So, what challenges did you face as a result of being in this minority? Uh, that's true. So, in my first year, when I started taking classes in my department, I literally knew nobody there. There were much fewer women when compared to the number of men in my class. And a lot of times, be it in the classroom or be it in certain project groups, you may feel like you're the odd one out and you will constantly need to step out of your comfort zone. For instance, I was among the very few women who participated in competitive programming contests. Fortunately, I was surrounded by people who always encouraged me to pursue what I love doing. Also, note that there will always be other women who are also navigating similar challenges. So my biggest learning was that we should just uplift one another, confidently work towards our dreams, and know that anything is possible as long as you put in the effort. So let's talk maybe about your plans after college, right? So where do you see yourself after graduating from IIT? Any thoughts? So uh, right now, uh, as I said, I've got, I'm exploring various fields of tech. So this has definitely told me that I want to pursue a career pertaining to one of these fields. But since I like a lot of them, it's kind of difficult for me right now to pick which one I should, uh, you know, go ahead and pursue a career. And so 
but i definitely know for sure that stem is the one field that i want to have an established career in for the majority of my life so um uh, one question i had was that uh, if you could give uh, one piece of advice to a school student who's just starting to study science and mathematics what advice would you give them my advice would be that you may encounter certain challenges while learning certain concepts and you might you might encounter certain roadblocks but do not get discouraged and do not give up the very first time that you encounter a roadblock or you find something difficult right so the most important thing would be to keep going and perseverance and persistence always pays off so how about you kavya what advice would you give a school student so uh, as all of the as a few of the panelists mentioned earlier there was this pertaining theme about you know how women are inherently afraid to ask so that was something that even i resonated with a lot because uh, even i felt like this intimidation right that you can't go up to people and ask them it's just so scary but the thing is i feel that this one thing if you're able to overcome that you open yourself to a lot of perspectives right so even if people you know initially even if some people tell you that no i can't help you i feel you should you know just be persistent just keep on go to people ask them someone or the other will help you right and it is you know when you learn more perspectives when you learn more viewpoints you learn more strategies you will be able to implement them better in your life right and i feel that that's something that uh, is integral for your growth as a person so uh, i just uh, say that you know it was a pleasure to you know meet you and a pleasure to chat with you and again i hope that i can ask you for advice too in the future when i need it i hope you you'll reach i hope i'm able to you know reach out to you and you'll respond uh, kavya i am equally delighted to get to know you and you're always welcome to reach out to me and who knows one day we may both be working together to solve some interesting problem in the world i wish you the very best of everything kavya Thank you so much, and I'd be thrilled to solve problems with you. I wish you the very, very best of luck too.